Okay, so first we of course have to model our shell, our bullet casing, and that we can do in two ways. The first one is we create a cylinder and modify that to create our shell. And the other one is using a latent herbs to spin a spline around and basically create that shell shape. Now we can of course create our splines in, in Cinema 4D, but I prefer to do it here in Illustrator because I'm just more used to how the shell, how the pen tool works right here. So I have my Illustrator project with these two reference images I've created. So we'll just go in with the pen tool and we'll just copy this shape pretty much. So you can think of this as any sort of reference image that you have maybe downloaded to use for the shell. You can of course create different shells and so on. Now for the bag here, we need the second reference image of course. So let's take this one right here and move it out here where we're working. And I'll just uh, switch my switch my colors for the path and make the outline black so just so we can see it better and maybe make it a little bit thicker. Let's say five points, okay? So now we continue this path and right here we make this sort of indentation or whatever it is you might wanna call it. Maybe a little deeper like this, yeah? Okay, and right here in the middle we just end it. Now, of course we have to continue this on the inside, right? We have to create the inside of the shell as well. So we go right here and we start right here at the at the beginning and we just sort of go out here and just copy the shape like this. So like this, you don't have to be too precise about this. Most most of this is of course going to be inside. This is, this is the inside of the shell, so it's going to be in shadows and you're not probably going to see it very well. So you don't have to be extra precise about this. So let's just quickly finish this up right here. Okay, so that's our shell. Now we can of course throw away our reference images like this. And this is our spline. We just move it right here to the bottom. Right like that. Maybe let's just create a little bit of a thing right here at the at the at the end by adding some points just two of them and just take these two points and move them out a little bit just so we have this sort of a little bit of a bevel. Okay, so that's that. So now we can save this out. Of course, we have to save it. Oh, sorry. We have to save it out as a as a Illustrator 8 file. So we just go right here and save this here and yeah, replace and we'll say here Illustrator 8. So Cinema 4D can import this with no problems. So let's just save this out, ignore this, and that's that, and I'll see you in Cinema 4D.